lead a network which is called the Life Path. It has been funded by the European Commission. It is a Horizon 2020 project that uh, uh, tackles the, the problem of health inequalities uh, from a, a specific point of view, which is uh, how health inequalities become uh, biological, uh, how they uh, get uh, under the skin. So we try to use uh, uh, the usual indicators like mortality or functioning of the body, uh, walking speed and so on, but also uh, biomarkers and uh, omic uh, measurements, uh, which helps uh, improving our understanding of uh, uh, social inequalities of health. It is important because uh, um, social determinants of health uh, are quite important uh, in quantitative terms. There are huge differences uh, across uh, socioeconomic strata in society. So uh, tackling uh, social inequalities is a good contribution to the health of the population in general. And it is also uh, important uh, uh, from a theoretical, uh, mechanistic point of view because you, you can understand uh, better also the mechanisms by, by which uh, diseases arise. Social inequalities get under the skin in, in several ways. We have focused mainly on two types of indicators. One is inflammation, because it seems that uh, uh, lifelong uh, low socioeconomic uh, condition is associated with uh, chronic inflammation. These predict uh, long-term uh, uh, health uh, consequences like uh, mortality or a poor functioning of the body or poor aging. The other type of markers we use uh, is epigenetic markers and particularly the concept of uh, age acceleration. And uh, there is a particular indicator based on methylation of DNA which is uh, strongly associated with age, but it is a, a kind of biological uh, age indicator so that some people are biologically older than they are chronologically. And this, uh, this is associated with uh, uh, socioeconomic status as well. IARC has done a lot uh, in terms of describing uh, cancer incidence, mortality, survival through the Globocan and other projects. But now uh, it starts uh, tackling also social inequalities, uh, specifically on social inequalities in, in cancer that is uh, now funded by INCA, led by Salvatore Vaccarella.